all familiar with the doom scroll, and I think that saturation fatigue is a real thing. Um, audiences are very active on social, but many of those environments don't give brands as much control as to what they're showing up to. And longer form formats on streaming TV gives brands an opportunity to do a lot more creative storytelling. In fact, our study with the Harris Poll found that most audiences prefer standard ad breaks. So I think it's about reaching that audience in an unsaturated environment with the ad formats that they actually pay attention to and find conducive to the viewing experience. They're not just playing games and on social, but they are watching TV. So it's not that young people aren't, they're just watching it unlike older generations. In fact, at Tubi, we've seen 58% year-over-year growth in young, diverse audiences. So the numbers aren't lying. Younger audiences are streaming, but they behave a little bit differently. I think in a world that can feel increasingly lonely, streaming plays a critical role in creating connections. Over half of Gen Z streamers prefer to stream communally with people outside of their homes, and 30% actually watch while they're visiting a friend. When it comes to what they're watching, 73% of Gen Z and millennials really are eager for characters that reflect their own identities like Big Mood in some cases. They want a vast selection of shows. So we found that almost 90%, 89% of younger audiences want content that explores a wide range of interests. At Tubi, we've seen a lot of stickiness in that we provide that range all in one place, but in a personalized experience uh, for the fastest path to watching something that you'll actually like.